Hi, we're Team Intuition. I'm Tom, this is Jasmine. Our task was to establish Benfield Motors as a retailer of choice for females and families through implementing budgeted changes to the operating procedure while advertising these changes to the localised public. So first of all, we did a SWOT analysis which highlighted three areas that we, which could be improved. These included replacing pressurised sale pictures, ensuring all mobile phones are compatible with the app, and addressing the male-dominated workforce. Once we address these, um, we will also create a positive brand personality, um, which would be knowledge, innovation and reliability. Our first concept is to create a research lounge, which is a re uh, calming, relaxing environment which customers can undergo research related to vehicle statistics, comparisons, features and reviews. This will be accomplished through the use of table tablet to provide an immersive and innovative experience in which uh, users can undergo research in areas of interest in order to make more informed decisions, thus reducing the occurrence of pressurised sales pictures. With women visiting an average of two to three dealerships, this will also cut out the need to travel around and look at competition for cars as they will be able to do on-site research within Benfield Motors. With Arby also introducing the smart concepts of sh in showrooms, this is definitely an area for further development in the automotive industry. In order to address the ever busy schedule of females and motorists, we're going to implement that we add extra add-ons onto the existing app that Benfield already have. We will also be creating it in the, app, uh, in the Android store. Um, which will gain an extra 75% of the market as the Android, sorry, as Apple only have 18% currently. We will also be adding onto the app allocated servicing appointments, updates on vehicle status and also extra pricing information. Finally, our third area of development would be to create a female orientated graduate recruitment scheme in order to create a more female friendly dealership experience in order to, in which to increase opportunities for female graduates and attract a more gender equal workforce, which in real term will attract more female motorists. Uh, recruitment area will include sales, after sales and servicing, with the total number of females working in deep car and retail dealerships being 21%. Only 11% of this are actually working in sales executive roles, with a recent survey in 2014 showing that 47% of women prefer female sales executives to men. So this is also an area of further development and with only 1.8% of female automotive servicing and mechanics being female, it would be nice to see a more gender equal workforce in this area too. The three main development concepts will be communicated to the localised public through four different methods. These will be social media such as Facebook, Twitter, the app and also YouTube. This is because we've found that more females use social media. We will also be using regional TV during peak hours um, such as morning TV and soaps which is, again is when females usually watch the TV. We'll also be doing it through radio, uh, regional radio, through drive time and breakfast. This will also gain um, listeners and clients through people who already have cars and we'll also be in partnership with local female charities and going to public events with those as well. Finally, the budget. To implement all these changes over a year, it will cost a total of £117,000. This is including the initial outlay of capital for the research lounge and smart servicing app, which will drop to zero after the first year, which will then bring it down by 90000 to a total cost of £27,000 per year after the first year. Uh, this expenditure is calculated on all 25 dealerships, and is going to be rolled out throughout all at the same time. Thank you for watching.